Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we will discuss a topic which many undergraduate students have difficulty in understanding that is the slope rule. Well, a slope rule is an image localization technique that helps us understand the buccolingual orientation of an object. It is also called as the buccal object rule, the tube shift technique or the Clark's rule. Before we move on to understand anything further about the slope rule, let us understand why slope rule is important. The reason why it is important is that we need to understand that an X-ray is a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional anatomy. And since an X-ray is taken at a perpendicular to the buccal surfaces of the anatomy or the tooth, only the mesiodistal is visible on the X-ray when compared to the buccolingual aspect of the anatomy. So if we have an x-ray like this with a superimposed structure with relation to the second premolar and if we want to understand the buccal or the lingual orientation of this object that is if it's present buccally or if it is ling present lingually it becomes difficult and uh, the reason why there is superimposition is because of the technique of x-ray that we use that is the right angle technique. Now with the right angle technique the x-ray is perpendicular to the tooth also to the film and because of this right angle or perpendicular x-ray the buccal and the lingual structures of the tooth or the anatomy as represented by this blue rectangle get superimposed and appear as one single object or in the cases of a single object which is present either lingually or buccally, it becomes different, difficult to differentiate between the buccolingual orientation of the tooth. So, how do we identify whether this object is present buccally or lingually? So by simple change in technique, that is, we change the right angle to a slight tube shift that is if we change the angle of the x-ray by 20 degrees either mesially or distally there is a slight tube shift to the film what happens is since our x-ray is not passing perpendicular but it passes slightly at an angle there is no superimposition of the buccal and the lingual structures and hence you can see that there is separation of the buccal and the lingual structure. So now we have achieved the separation of the buccal and the lingual object by a slight change in the angulation of the x-ray to the tooth or to the film. But how do we understand which is buccal and which is lingual and hence here is where we apply the slob rule. The slob rule is actually a mnemonic which stands for same side lingual opposite side buccal basically which means object which moves to the same side of the tube is present lingually and the object which moves to the opposite side of the tube is present buccally. So what does it mean to say is that if I had a perpendicular x-ray and I changed my angulation of the tube to mesial, the object which moves to the same direction of the tube is present lingually, that is same side lingual. So the object which is present lingually moves to the same mesial direction of the tube. And the object which is present on the buccal side, that is opposite side buccal, that is same side lingual and opposite side buccal. And the 
structure which is present on the buccal surface will move in an opposite direction of the tube and since the tube moved mesially we took a mesial angulation the structure which was present on the lingual moved on the same side of the tube that is if i had an x-ray like this with superimposition and if i happen to take a mesial angulation and if my structure was present lingually i would see that the structure which was present lingually moved to the same side that is a uh, move to the mesial side of the x-ray same side of the tube shift however if the structure of the object was present on the buccal aspect and if you take a mesial angulation the structure or object which is present on the buccal side will move away from mesial so let me simplify this again same side lingual opposite side buccal structure which is present on the lingual side will always move to the same side of the x-ray tube and structure which is present on the buccal side will always move away from the tube i hope this video was helpful to you thank you for watching it for more such videos please like share follow and subscribe my youtube channel you can also follow me on instagram have a good day thank you